Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to calibrate your Air 3's gimbal, IMU, and compass. Now feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. For those new to drones, the gimbal on the DJI Air 3 has dual purposes. One is to serve as an attachment point for the camera to the drone, and then also it provides three-way camera stability. The gimbal is used to ensure smooth and level video footage and also level photos. If the gimbal on the Air 3 is off-center or slightly misaligned while in use, it could cause extra work in post-processing software to get corrected. Because gimbal calibrations are related to the drone's camera, unlike the IMU and Compass calibrations, gimbal calibration does not affect how the Air 3 actually flies. If you find that the camera on your Air 3 has trouble staying level, or the camera drifts occasionally during flight, then it's time to manually calibrate the gimbal through the DJI Fly app. To calibrate your Air 3's gimbal, while the Air 3 is off, remove the gimbal cover. Now while on a flat surface, power on the DJI RC2 or RCN2 that you regularly fly your Air 3 with. Power on the Air 3. After the RC2 or RCN2 connects to the Air 3, it may automatically switch over to Live View. If you're not brought to Live View, tap Go Fly. Once in Live View, go into the Fly app menu or options by tapping the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Now locate and tap the Control tab. Here, scroll down until you see Gimbal Calibration. Next to that, press the arrow to the right and choose Auto to automatically calibrate the gimbal. Alternatively, you can choose to manually calibrate the gimbal. You choose Manual, and you'll be able to define the horizontal and yaw values to get your horizon level. This is actually handy for when in the air and you need to calibrate on the fly. Now regarding the IMU calibration, the job of the Air 3's IMU or Inertial Measurement Unit is to ensure that the Air 3 is level and stable in the air. It does so by monitoring the drone's velocity, angle, force, and attitude. To monitor these, the IMU checks the Air 3's accelerometer, barometer, gyroscope, and thermometer. If any of these systems are out of whack and not corrected, the Air 3 could tilt while hovering, have difficulty remaining steady and stable in the air, or even display signs of difficulty cooling down. By calibrating the Air 3's IMU, preferably when prompted, you can reduce sensor errors and have an overall better flying experience. Now, DJI suggests IMU calibrations whenever you fly outside of a 30 mile radius of your last flight and every 1,000 feet of elevation change. Now again, this is the manufacturer's suggestion. Many drone operators do not perform these steps unless they're needed and they fly just fine. Now prior to calibrating your Air 3's IMU, make sure you're outside in an area free from metal. Now for this video, we're filming in the studio. To calibrate your Air 3's IMU while the Air 3's off, of course, remove the gimbal cover. This will ensure that when the Air 3 is turned on, the movement of the gimbal will not be impeded. Next, power on the RC2 or RCN2, whichever one you use regularly. And if you're using the RCN2, also launch your DJI Fly app. Now power on the Air 3. After the DJI RC2 or RCN2 connects to the Air 3, it may automatically switch over to Live View. Of course, if this does not automatically occur, again, you can tap Go Fly. Once in Live View, go into the Fly app menu or the options by tapping the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Locate and tap the Safety tab. Scroll down until you see IMU Normal. Next to that, press Calibrate to enter the IMU calibration process. You'll go ahead and press Start then follow the prompts and move the Air 3 into the various positions 
as directed on the screen. Now lastly, we'll talk about compass calibration. The Air 3's compass is exactly what would be expected of a standard compass that one might bring on a hike. It's an internal digital device that helps the Air 3 know where it currently is, location-wise. Now, uncalibrated drones may fly erratically or eventually crash due to a loss of control. Because of this, drone manufacturers, including DJI, suggest a compass calibration be done whenever you fly outside of a 50-mile radius of your last flight in every 1,000 feet of elevation change. Now again, many drone operators calibrate their drones only when prompted. We recommend performing whatever works for your situation. When calibrating your Air 3, make sure you're away from any metals or areas with strong interference. This includes most parking garages as oftentimes these are full of metal rebar that could cause interference with the calibration process. To calibrate your Air 3's compass, while the Air 3 is off, again, remove the gimbal cover. Power on the RC2 or RCN2 that you regularly fly your Air 3 with. And if using the RCN2, go ahead and launch your DJI Fly app. Now, power on the Air 3. After the DJI RC2 or RCN2 connects to the Air 3, it may automatically switch over to Live View. If you're not automatically brought to the Live View, Go ahead and tap Go Fly. Once in Live View, go into the Fly App menu or Options by tapping the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Next, locate and tap the Safety tab. Scroll down until you see Compass Normal. And then next to that, press Calibrate to start the Compass calibration process. Press Start and then follow the prompts and move the Air 3 into the various positions as directed on the screen. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.